You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. Hey, you know one thing about it, man, is that we live in a world where a lot of people don't even take their health serious. They find it too expensive. And sometimes, you know, I can agree with it. In America, it's a little more money to eat healthy. But we get some of the finest cars, some of the nicest houses, and we'll put the best gas in these finest cars, but we won't put the best fuel in our body. And that's what Titan provides. It's not much to keep that healthy lifestyle, especially when you're doing it the right way. That's why I'm Team Titan all the way, baby. Let's go. Ding, 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 battle of the century. Which weight loss medication is gonna be better for you? Semiglutide versus tirzepatide. Which one's the better one? Which one's gonna be more effective? Which one help you lose more weight and control your hemoglobin A1C? What's your sugar levels? Let's get down to it, break it down. Semiglutide, GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide one. This sits a part of the brain to make you feel like you're not hungry. It slows down digestion too as well so you don't have as much stomach emptying happen. It also controls hemoglobin A1C, sugar levels that are in the bloodstream. Very good, very effective. A lot of people use it. Some of the different points. It could make you nauseous, it could slow down stomach and it cause some stomach pains and stuff like that. Now, we have tirzepatide. It has two main active ingredients, glucagon-like peptide one, just like semiglutide, and it has GIP, glucagon-dependent insulotropic polypeptide. That means, two active ingredients affecting the body, the brain, one, making sure that you're not hungry, two, affecting the slow digestion in the stomach and the stomach eptine, and also releases micronutrients at an even level, so it's controlling your hemoglobin A1C. Now, clinical trials on paper, tirzepatide is the obvious winner of this because it will affect weight loss a little bit more as far as giving you better results and it will control hemoglobin A1C a little bit better than semiglutide. Not a whole bunch better, but a little bit better. And patients have been describing this as having not as much nausea. Now listen, either one of these, if you get them from Titan Medical Center, don't worry about the nausea because we will give you an add back therapy, something along with it, that will control and help you not get nauseous on these medications. But both are truly very effective and have changed so many people's lives out there and increased and help people's health. And that's the number one thing, right? There's a lot of type two diabetics out there. And most of these type two diabetics are overweight or obese. And this is causing a lot of the problems that are going on inside their body and can create even more problems. So when they lose the weight using these weight loss medications, they get healthier all the way around. I mean, even the studies are showing that cardiovascular health improves with these medications. What might be because mainly you're losing weight and you're feeling great, right? So there's not an excuse anymore to be overweight and obese. It's your time to get the dream body that you've always wanted and be healthier all the way around. So don't delay. If you have more questions about this, you want more information, how it can help you as a patient, please call or text us 727-389-3220. We'll be happy to set you up with a consultation with our medical providers and get you healthier than you've ever been in your life. For more information about Titan Medical Center or to become a patient, call or text us today. What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. We are here and we got to see, in my opinion, the movie of the year. So we're here, we got to see Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh, man. It was good. We have been talking about this movie for so long. We've given it a plug on pretty much every review. Anticipation was at its all time high, like a kid in a candy store, like, <laughs> like it was like Christmas all over again, getting to come to see this movie. Yeah. Because we knew some things in the beginning. One, Hugh Jackman came back to play Wolverine. He came back to be jacked. Hugh Jackman came back to be jacked. After dying off in Logan and saying he would never reprise the role, for him to come back, not only him just to come back, we knew, <laughs> we knew that he was going to rock the original costume in the comics, which is iconic. He never did it with Fox at all. They put him in the black costume, 
which incidentally I was reading, the reason they did the black costume for him was because the Matrix was popular that time and Neo was in all black. Oh, so, that's an little, interesting uh, little fact. Little tidbit, right? Fact. But, um, you know, so we never got to see him in, in this iconic costume. So you get to see it. And then all the different cameos from all the different Fox they did characters. A lot. They did a lot. Was, and they clowned a lot of different things. It was actually did. really, really they funny. They did. They did. We everything, the entire theater was laughing with the whole time. I mean, you know, they're they're clowning. I mean, Ryan Reynolds himself was clowning Disney. Mm -hmm. He clowned uh, Fox. Yep. I mean he, he clowned everybody and, and still he still made it good, which was was awesome. All the Deadpool variants, you guys are gonna love it. I mean, it, listen, if you like Deadpool, you're gonna like this movie. If you like Wolverine, you're gonna like this movie. Yeah, if you like Marvel, you'll like the movie. If you like a lot of action, a lot of killing, you're gonna like this movie. Yep. Um, there's comedy in there, so you're gonna get to see all aspects. You know, for me, I'm definitely gonna give this movie like a 4.7. 4.7, 4.8, like right in there. Like it, you have it, to pick, John. I'll give it a 4.8. I'll give it a 4.8. Okay. You know, I, I thought like it was really cool. And like I said, it was iconic to see him come back. One thing, and I don't want to spoil the movie, but they said... Spoil it! Well, okay, fine. Kidding, don't spoil it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Spoiler um, alert! No, so I mean, basically, like, at this point, like, you know, there were some fights that, you know, you wanted to see in there, that you got to see, and it was fights that they promised, that I read in the rumors, that did not come about. And the other thing that was really cool was, if you like some of those classic Wolverine characters through the years in the comics, like I do, and they've changed all throughout the years and because of the series and everything like that. But there's some iconic images that you are gonna love if you're a comic book freak like me. Um, and at that point, yeah, you're gonna enjoy this move all the way through. Action, comedy, it was really, really good. Hugh Jackman did hell of a role coming back at his age. And uh, Ryan Reynolds just, he always comes through, man. So he was, he was definitely on fire. What do you think? I mean, it, it was bomb. I've been waiting for this movie for a long time and it definitely held up to its, uh, uh, the, the 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 cloud I thought it would hold up to. So um, my rating is definitely gonna be a 4.9. The movie had me laughing the whole time. Woo. And there was so much action in this movie. You know, Deadpool always starts off a movie with action. Oh, Lots yeah. of killing yes. and not just killing one person, but he always kills like 20 or 30 people. Yeah, And it's just really cool because he kills them in all different fashions chops them all up, shoots them, stabs them, yep. cuts them up into little tiny pieces, yep. strangles them, throws them around. I mean, it's great. It's great yeah. if you love violence. Yeah. So anyways, I really, really did like this movie. Not just for the violence, it was funny. And um, it just was really, really good. It, it was, was really awesome. good, especially if you're a fan. And even if you're not a fan, you'll like it. It was good. I really do it believe that. It was definitely good. Uh, it, was, it was really cool. It was definitely good. Definitely hit everything that so we So we're coming to. back at midnight? I'm down to go see this movie again. <laughs> I definitely want to go see this movie again. I'm definitely going to come see this movie definitely again. Definitely go see this movie again. So yeah, for sure. That's how good it was. So at that point, yeah. you heard the rating. 4.9 from Sharice. There's no other movie that's getting that rating this year. I, mean, I, I can't believe Sorry. it. Sorry. So, but you guys will love it. So good go job, enjoy Deadpool it. Deadpool and Wolverine. Deadpool, Wolverine. You got to see it. Everybody else in the country is seeing it. Guaranteed. This movie is going to break the box off. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be up there. For sure. So we will see you next time at the movies. Are you keeping an eye on your health? Call or text Titan Medical Center today. We understand the struggles that come with trying to lose weight. Titan Medical Center offers safe and effective medical weight loss programs. Coupled with proper diet and healthy nutrition, Titan Medical Center's weight loss therapies can help you reach your health and fitness goals. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220 for more information on our medical weight loss therapies. You can also visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center and I want to talk to you today about BPC-157. This healing peptide is amazing. It helped me get back to working out and I'm lifting the way that I was previously. It has collagen boosters to really help with that repair and maintenance of those fibrous tissues like your muscles, ligaments, and tendons. It helps to down-regulate cytokines and atkins sequestrins, which play a role in the inflammatory process within the body, and then helps with angiogenesis, which is the growth of new blood vessels to really bring and support nutrients to the tissues. If you have any nagging injuries, inflammation, tendonitis, this is gonna be the healing peptide for you. 
Call and text us at 727-389-3220 or visit us at titanmedicalcenter.com. Peptides are made from amino acids that are linked together. They can be thought of as a small protein sequence. They have many functions in the body, including signaling and messaging. Some may act like neurotransmitters, while others may act like hormones. For people who have experienced connective tissue injuries like severe tendonitis, tendon tears, and even complete tendon ruptures, healing peptides can be beneficial with regards to repair and recovery of these complex injuries. If you have questions about which healing peptide is the most beneficial for you, call or text Titan Medical Center at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Titan Medical Center's exclusive and custom injectable vitamin and amino acid signature blends are a different approach to supplementation with injectable vitamins and amino acids. Many vitamin, mineral, and amino supplements are not well absorbed by the body when taken orally. For many people, barriers exist in the gastrointestinal tract to allow for adequate absorption. Administering an injection allows for much higher doses of the nutrients to be infused directly into the body. All of the nutrients we use at Titan Medical Center are natural and safe to be administered by injection. Scientific research demonstrates that a variety of conditions can benefit from the use of injectable vitamin and amino acids. A few of the conditions that may be helped using these techniques include anxiety, depression, immune disorders, hypertension, COPD, asthma, fibromyalgia, fatigue, diabetes, hepatitis, viral infections like the common cold, and body fat accumulation. The liver removes 90% of the nutrition you take orally. Injectable nutrition is available immediately for use by the body. For more information about Titan Medical Center's exclusive and custom injectable vitamin and amino acid signature blends, call us or text us at 727-389-3220 or visit our website at titanmedicalcenter.com. Big Johnny, will you talk to me a little bit about AOD? Sure, so AOD 9604. This is a really, really nice peptide therapy, specifically for weight loss. So AOD 9604 is 176 amino acid sequence of growth hormone, which is 191 amino acid sequence. Now, this isn't gonna give you all the benefits of growing bigger or anything like that. It's not gonna have that effect like growth hormone. But what it is gonna have the effect, like growth hormone, is it's gonna create two main effects, lipogenesis and lipopolysis. So what that means is for you guys out there in layman terms, it's going to not have you store fat that you're eating food with, right? So those calories aren't gonna store, and it's going to utilize the stored fat as energy that's going to boost the metabolism, giving you a great weight loss effect all the way through and through. Can't beat that, right? <laughs> It's hard to beat any of these things that we're gonna talk about, but this is one of my favorites, and this is a protocol or a, um, is that how you'd say it? A protocol, yeah, yeah, a, a peptide that I have been doing since being with Titan Medical. So, and it is one that I absolutely love. It's really a fabulous one. You can do injectable. We have a oral sublingual for this too as well. Um, it's pretty effective, like I said, across the board. I would say it's good for people that wanna lose five, 10, 15, maybe 20 pounds. Um, when you get over that, there might be some other options for you, but AOD can also be utilized with all the other therapy packages and protocols that we have too. So it just might be a nice little complement to what you're doing right now. Can you give me, uh, how long should somebody take this protocol? Sure. Uh, four weeks, eight weeks, a year? Sure. So you can stay on this protocol a long time, right? So there's no cycling on, you know, or cycling on. I would say, you know, you want to give it at least a good 90 days. Um, 90 days, you should see a good result, especially if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, we're, we're having a good nutritional diet, we're sleeping, we're drinking water, we're having some activity, which are the essentials. And uh, you know, when you have things like this, this is going to really complement that therapy. And like I said, you can take this long lasting, so ever long lasting. So if you wanna take it for a whole year, you can. 
but you really get a good effect, I would say 90 days and beyond. So you got that three months uh, taking this, and then like you always talk about, you say the Titan lifestyle. You yes. always reference that. And yes. That's that's sleeping right, that's eating right, that's yes. getting your workout, staying consistent, yes. and then adding in the AOD will help you out even that much more. Absolutely. Get going. Become Titan strong. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, we're coming at you guys, giving you guys great tips, tricks, and maybe some scenarios that we went through, or some of our friends or family members, or something we've seen out in public or around town. <laughs> so, uh, you know, every week we want to come up with a great topic to help you guys, you know, flourish your relationship, build a strong, healthy relationship, or maybe a future relationship, and maybe not get any bad relationships, like maybe one of your past relationships. So relationships deal with a lot of different things. And I think this topic that we're gonna talk about today is more common than we think, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it. Yeah, because people don't talk about it. Libido issues happen to both men and females. So at that point, you know, we see a lot of ED commercials out there and stuff like that, so we know erectile dysfunction is a big thing with males. Okay, so this happens to the libido, um, and it makes them feel possibly insecure or not, you know, the man they should be and, and stuff like that, and they deal with it in different ways. So there's different medications out there that can possibly help a man. But for a female, right, um, they might be going through different things, um, you know, mentally or physically or hormonal for both parties, um, that they're suffering from, you know, a libido that's not so good or in a sex life that's not so good. And at that point, they really don't know what to do. And usually, you know, couples, you know, they might not talk about these different things. Yeah. And that could create issues within the relationship. Yeah. Um, it, it's more common than you guys think out there. So let's just get into the topic, I guess. So, you know, what really happens to males and females uh, that causes libido issues, right? So one, you could have hormonal problems or deficiencies or imbalances mm -hmm. that can mess with your libido or physically and mentally, I guess, right? Yeah. And females the exact same way as guys. And at that point, they don't know really what to do. They're like, you know, I'm, I'm having problems uh, in the bedroom and then possibly they go see a doctor. They ask a friend like, you know, hey, listen, things haven't been as good as they used to be or they're not up to par like I used to be. You know, what can I do? And usually a friend will tell them, you know, you could possibly take this or do this and it's probably going to, you know, help you out. Or you go to a, a doctor or a medical provider and they possibly might give you some ED medicines. That's usually just for guys, though. Yeah. But for females, I mean, you know, you guys have to remember, too, because people don't think about this, but this is important. So... A lot of people, especially right now with COVID, everybody was inside, nobody did anything, everybody got down and depressed, now everybody's taking all these antidepressants. Yep. These antidepressants, they kill your libido. Yep. They kill your libido. Yep. Even on paper, it raises your SHBG, yep. right? So it just kills your libido. It, and libido could be just, it just could mentally kill your libido, meaning like you don't even think about it. Right. You know, and it, it has may not have anything to do with your very very sexy husband because he's sexy oh. but um you know it, it might just be just you don't think about it because you're not like you're not there mentally you know you might be there like you know as far as physically and emotionally that kind of thing but if your libido is just down or lost you may not even think about it you know john used to say it all the time <laughs> what did you used to say? Like, you know, if, if the libido is down for a guy, like a girl could walk by in like a maid outfit or something. Yeah, so like, all right, so if your libido is unexistent as a yeah. guy, right, and you don't know this, right? this is not something that you're even thinking about. You know, your wife or partner could walk by in whatever is your biggest turn on, right? Whether it's, you know, you've got the sexy schoolgirl outfit on or lingerie or, you know, you got pigtails. Pig That's one of my favorites, okay? Um, so at that point, like they're in this awesome outfit, they're all dressed up, you know, trying to get your attention and you're not even thinking about it. You're like, 
you know, you're reading, you know, an article on your phone, you're watching some TV show, and you know when they're walking by you and they're they're maybe trying to get your attention, <laughs> you're you're not even like there, right? <laughs> and you know, this is something that you didn't think of, and then at that point, like, then might bring up to you, like, you know, why don't you find me attractive anymore? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I was just here reading this article, like. Like we don't have, we're not intimate anymore. We're not doing this. Why? You know, and, and you don't have an answer. You're like, I, I don't know. Like, and then all of a sudden it starts to amount to other things. Like, yeah. you know, okay, well, who were you on the phone with? Yeah. And now you start getting into all this, like, you know, well, okay. I, I mean, is there something else going on? Are you talking to someone else? Are you, t- are you doing like stuff on your texting? Is there something in your Instagram? Is there something in your Facebook? Are, are you, you webcamming are with? Are you TikToking? Yeah. Where, where, where are you? Only on the, fans? Are you swiping to the left? <laughs> you know, and then guys might be so innocent, like I really don't know. Even girls can be like, I, I'm true, sorry, true. like I, I don't, true. I don't know why this is going on or whatever. Yeah. You know, and another common medication that people are taking, especially for guys, so hair loss. A lot of guys Ooh, like their hair, just like females. Killer. They want to keep their hair, and they ask their doctor, "Hey, listen, I'm losing some hair. I'm thinning." Or I have predisposal to you know balding because my family. Yeah. You know what Male medications can I baldness. take? So they give them finasteride, Propecia. So it's great. It might help you keep some of your hair, but it's like a male castration drug. It will <laughs> literally kill your libido. For most people, it has this effect. Yeah. You know, I've tried this medication. I know personally, I've been through it. Where Poor me. We are very active every day, <laughs> you know, as far as that goes. Um, I, you know, I, I love to be intimate with my wife. You know, I find her very attractive to this day 13 years later. <laughs> so, you know, I, I want to be intimate with her. So when I was on this medication, it, it builds up in the system. And literally, it was happening to me like, like a couple of days ago. By you know, I wasn't thinking about it. You know, when reacting to things, and then I had to you know like start thinking about that. Like, what's going on that I'm not wanting to do this? Because I like or find enjoyment <laughs> in this big time, right? And then I, you know, I, you know, go reading the medication. This is a main side effect. Yeah. A lot of guys are taking this medication. It's a out big there. one, yeah. And you don't you gotta, want that. Then you got to pick between your hair and sex. Listen, I know this. <laughs> If it's between my hair and sex, I'm probably going to pick sex. (laughs) I'll be a bald stud all day long, but I don't want to be a hairy nothing, okay? Or be able to do nothing. Like, I'm a man. Like, I got all this hair, though. Yeah. You can can rub my hair. I look like Fabio, but I can't perform like I want to. But Fabio's hair looks great in the wind. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It might look good in the wind, but man, you ain't nothing in the bedroom. Like, well, that's a part of the relationship, you know. That's a part of intimacy right. um, and bonding and stuff like that. So that's just one thing. So you, you know, if you guys are out there and you guys are taking this medication when you're having these problems, you know, you might want to start scaling that back or, or looking into different options. Yeah. And there are different options out there for you guys and girls if you are taking this medication, mm-hmm. you know. But you gotta you gotta take away some of these different things. The other thing is is you know if you are having problems in the bedroom or having erectile issues as a male. You're going to look into what the root of the problem is. Is it antidepressants I'm possibly on? Is it maybe a hormone deficiency or imbalance? Because, listen, if you have low testosterone, you're probably going to have low libido that goes along with it. Now, low testosterone doesn't mean that you just have low libido. Oh, right? man, that's, that's a common a, that's myth. A stamp. Right? Low testosterone can deal with brain function, it, like brain fog, uh, physical issues, uh, you know, being lethargic, and a whole bunch of other things. But it will directly affect libido too, as well. Okay, um, so same that, thing for the females. Same I thing mean, for females. Yeah, I mean, 150 million percent for everybody that is postmenopausal. Usually, that happens somewhere between the age of 45 and 55. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, with all the hormones they're putting in our food, it's happening somewhere between 35 and 45. Yep. So it's happening earlier and earlier and earlier. Just like females are getting their menstrual cycles yep. at like nine. This yep. is crazy. But I mean, when you're postmenopausal, you no longer have any estrogen, no longer have any more estrogen. You don't create any lubrication down there. Ooh. Don't create any lubrication down there. It's dry and don't it doesn't be a desert. feel good. But I, you know, it doesn't feel good for either one of you. It could create some chafing and for for both parties. Not good friction. It's not great for, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> KY jelly can only go so far. Exactly. So, you know, it's important to do that. And honestly, you don't even need to be postmenopausal because you can have a hormonal imbalance at the age of 25 yes to be yes. quite honest with you so i mean that's huge that's a big portion of it and the hormonal imbalances don't just affect you physically erectile right. slash vaginal dryness um it also affects you mentally you know yeah. so that's why they say sometimes people 
like for females, they might feel like they're being bipolar. They're like crying one minute, happy one minute, crying one minute, happy one minute. But they're really just have a super, super hormonal imbalance. Yep. And, they, and then obviously, let's just say, for instance, that you're crying one minute, you know, happy one minute, whatever that might be. And you are literally getting on your husband's last nerve, right? Mm -hmm. That he's probably not going to want to be intimate if you're like really annoying, you know. You're really, just, eh, 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 eh. I mean, he might just do it to do it because he's a guy, <laughs> guys are guys, but because we can't take that away from guys, right? Right, I guess, yeah. okay. Well, the guys are guys, so, you know, but ultimately, <laughs> you know, if you're annoying him, he may not want to be intimate with you. Yeah. That's important, it, it, it definitely is important, you know. And, and you know, usually, partners usually it happens to one partner, like super low libido. Well, and then the other partner's like, hey, what's going on? You know, and then you're like, well, I don't really know. And that's when, you know, you want to see what's going on because you want to be able to please your partner, you know, because that's a part of being in the relationship. You want to make sure your partner's happy and you want to make sure you're taking care of all their needs and stuff like that. And that's really where it comes into play. You know, we ha we deal with it all the time here where, you know, let's say a guy comes in, he has low testosterone, we get him back up to where he needs <laughs> to be. He's back home and he's raring to go all the time. Yee! And then the wife is like, what is going on oh, here? No, like, no. I, I don't have that drive. Like, I want to be like you too. And that's when they call us up and they yeah. usually both get on programs. You know, that's another thing. So whether you're a male or a female, listen, here at Titan Medical Center, we have options for both parties. And we can definitely help both parties, males and females, get that libido back, get that drive back so it can spark that awesome forever fire and make sure you guys are getting hot in the bedroom because listen i have to that. make sure i gotta make sure I, I just drop this in remember i use the real life scenario stuff right so even if you are not having libido issues yep. okay you can always enhance your sex life yep. you can always enhance it even if you're you are rocking it in the bedroom yep. right you could you could rock it more, believe it or not. I mean, I've, I've even done this, you know, the Pepsi challenge here where I took a female libido enhancer. I have, you know, fine, you libido. know, sex drive yeah. and libido, but I took it just to see and it was like awesome. That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> like, what it's all about. Like extra awesome. You know, it's already awesome, but it was like extra, extra awesome. So it does, you don't have to have an actual issue to use libido enhancers. You can use it just to use it. Let's just say there's a night you guys have date night and you just want to connect. Yep. Yeah use it so you guys can do this also you guys can do like different things like maybe you guys want to role play or use toys or whatever it may be there's a lot of different options on there to help you know raise uh you know a good bedroom relationship to where it was to where it is now so if you guys have any questions about our libido enhancers or how we can help you guys you guys can always call or text us 727-389-3220 and we love to cover all these great topics with you guys hopefully we're helping you guys Make that relationship stronger, better, and last forever. Okay? And longer, longer. in many departments. Yes. Longer in many departments. <laughs> so we're going to wrap it up. This is another Cupid's Corner. Make sure you guys tune in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. If you miss it, don't worry. We're on YouTube. Just type in Type Medical Center or our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram. Check out Type Medical Center. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you guys next week. I'm Cherise. I'm John. And we'll see you next week. Later, guys. Bye.